Good morning. Today is September 29, 2022. And I have a really long game for you. This is 72 moves. Extremely long game. Uh, let's just say that there is no obvious mistakes. I think there's one slight inaccuracy where I could have won. But it's not a clear cut one. It's not a clear-cut winning either, so it's uh, very difficult to see. But there's only one, uh, you know, possible move like that. And you can say this is one of those perfect games where nobody makes any mistakes. And yet it's extremely boring, and I hate this kind of game, really. This is uh, one of my early games as a 1400. Uh, I was like at 1419. My opponent was 1463. So my opponent, who plays white, by the way, has great advantage and he fails to materialize his advantage. Anyway, let's get to it. First, uh, I have like five positions for you to check out over here. And now these are like regular puzzles where there's a clear cut winning move over here. I don't have that over here. Anyway. This is the first position. What has just moved the queen to c2? What should I do? Next position. The pawn has just moved to h3. What should I do? Next move, the queen has just moved to f6. What should I do? Next, the king has just moved to h1. What should I do? And finally, the queen has just moved to b7. What should I do? All right, let's begin. The game began initially enough with uh, c4 which is of course a unique move there that's not really common common thing to do and well i just ignore that and do my usual opening except that's not my usual opening either it's basically me trying to figure out what what is up to so it's a waiting move it's a waiting move so right here Developing the knight, and this square is open for exploitation. Otherwise, this will whoops. Otherwise, this will be the source of conflict. And right now, there's three against three. So let's move. This is uh, basically. A really defensive move. I probably should I just move the pawn, this pawn right here somewhere because the queen's no longer there and be more aggressive. Open up the bishop here, queen here, and then I have I would have the option of castling this way. But anyway, next move. And just push it, push it, push it right here. Now, this is the first inkling of an aggressive move. Right now, we've just finished the opening stages over here. So let's count the squares over here. Let's see, one, two, and we have four over there, five over here, six, seven over there. So what has seven advanced square being attacked? Now, let's count mine. One, two, three, four, five. So 
I only have five. So I'm on the defensive side. White is on the attacking side. Next move. Now, uh, remember I have like three attackers here and right now White only has one defender. So what's supposed to be losing? Not losing anymore. So, you know, I mean, yes, that is losing a pawn, but that's all it is. That's all it is. It's not like, it's not no big deal, really. So, anyway. So, attacking left and right over here. So, I'm attacking this way, attacking this way. So, so trying to complicate things really. This is what happened. This is position number one. What has just captured my bishop on g7? Now, what should I do? When I revisited this position, the answer is obvious. I should just take this one, check, and then pawn takes one, and then put this one. So suddenly I have a opening right here that I can take advantage of. Uh, I did not do that though. so so yeah I just took it immediately with the king capture capture and castle and suddenly I cannot do anything position I have a slight advantage but that's all there is to it uh, you look at the pawn structure that is really strong over there. Pawn structure. Meanwhile, I have rooks, and it's very hard for rooks to <coughs> to basically attack close position right there. So already I know the position is very drawish. It's there's no much for attacking chances over here. Over here. Just try to come up with something. Being very aggressive. And this is position number two over here. So, basically, I'm trying to mix things up. Hopefully, you know, my opponent will make a tactical blunder. Of course, that, that does not happen. So, boom, right here. So, this is what I did. Uh, my advantage is basically getting less than that, so no longer have any clear advantage. No, if, no matter how slight, really. And check, put, move there, and pretty much goes to zero over there. It's not, you know, it's not something that I can do about it. Over here, up slightly, but not much. Over here, and again, this is like Attack, counter-attack, defense, defense, defense. Extremely defensive maneuver, really. Over here. Now, battle of the rooks, over here. Typical of me, I just go ahead and increase the tension. He didn't took the bait, however, so just uh, basically just trade and remove my attacking potential. You look at the pawn here clear pawns over there and I only have one pawn so in a way you know watch position have a more long term benefit than mine mine is only short term but the rook like I said is having a lot of trouble going through pawn chains right here it's really difficult so next move that's a mistake there, that, that pawn move is a mistake. Now for here, this square has been unguarded for, you know, many moves basically. Uh, so this is a mistake right there, because the possibility of the queen moving there. In fact, that's what happened, and suddenly this pawn's going to be lost basically. Check, check, 
and that's it that the punch gone I did get a compensator compensation over here uh, basically I can take that one over there which is what I did boom so suddenly the pawn is gone for, for the cost of that one pawn but also for the cost of my attacking potential and the affiliation is zero and it, it really is supposed to be a draw for here at this point in time uh, next move I'm just going to go through this really quick that's basically checked by repetition I don't want it to be the draw really uh, but I should have just accepted the draw and that's a mistake again because it's not a guard that you know it's, it's not being a punching anymore so that's a mistake I shouldn't have done that push the pawn I push the pawn to forward over there if I want to push the pawn forward I should probably should have parked the queen over here somewhere and over there and maybe even move the king over here somewhere over on that side over here so the queen can take care of that but yeah mistakes like that happen position still draw though and that's a mistake that's that just lost a pawn for nothing back to drop now suddenly I got a nice pawn over here so all I have to do is push the advantage trying to swap the queen the queen basically if what would accept a queen trade I would win immediately because nothing can stop this that's not what happened of course and this is a very interesting position right here over here just keep checking and then I'm over here again I'm trying to trade the queen over here so this is puzzle number uh, four already puzzle number four the king has just moved there and what should I do well I should go and try to trade the queen over here puzzle number four uh, and again I'll just move really quick because <laughs> there's really nothing to it uh, that's a mistake I shouldn't have done that I uh, probably should have uh, tried to move the king somewhere or something instead of depending on the queen uh, yep that's a mistake because suddenly this pawn's gone and of course the, this is a danger over here to take that one over here and that's it it's a draw now uh, you missed if you missed the winning move basically that's okay because I missed it too this is the winning move position winner this there's a wasted move as the queen move from this square to that square that's a wasted move and it only take one move right it only take one move over here that I should have done is do something like this check and then can get, and then check here because this is so the queen can go here and cut this square over here and when you got this here king just go there if queen, queen goes here queen, uh, queen. and suddenly this becomes a problem right there uh, but the only place the queen can stop the check but if the queen does that then it's uh, extremely simple matter to just uh, basically 
well, it's not so simple anymore. And so anyway, I didn't count on that one to work. So, so that's you know a problem. That's a problem uh, right here. And that one, yeah. and that's Smith. So again, this is not so simple. You look at this thing over here. It's just, it's incredibly difficult to see the variation over here. Even though the evaluation here says minus eight, I just cannot see it. So that's a problem. It's a very it's a drop wing position, drawish position, and I just totally missed that possibility. It's a possibility, but. I have a feeling that I cannot win anyway. That that's so complicated that I'm not going to win anyway. And it's not like my I feel like that my opponent will going to make a mistake in doing this anyway. So that's what happened. So it's a draw. Technically a perfect game, but it's not fun, and I don't like this. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.